Hi friends, it's another travel day. We're leaving. Hi, Lynn. Hi. Hi, friends. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to roll. Alrighty. See ya. So what I started to say is we're going north to I-40 and then west through and past Flagstaff over to north of Williams up towards the Grand Canyon. We'll wind up this evening at Nomad Ranch. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We're headed north from the south entrance of Petrified Forest National Park. And now we're on I-40, and now we're getting off I-40. I'm going to go over here to the TA, Travel America, get some fuel. I'm often asked what kind of gas mileage I get with this diesel engine. Uh, between 8 and 9, but uh, it depends on the temperature in the evenings, if I'm running the diesel furnace or not, or if I'm running the diesel generator, that certainly affects how many miles. So I sit for two weeks and run the heater and the generator, uh, I'm not getting 8 or 9 miles to the gallon, but just going cross country, that's about where it falls, which is better than my old south wind with the 450 carbureted, that was about five miles per gallon on a good day. Well, there you are, 66 gallons for $377. I have an EFS card, um, which gives me a discount, so I won't pay quite that much. But, uh, definitely eats into the budget, this traveling. I'm going to pull over here and park between a couple of trucks. We usually travel for half an hour to an hour and then stop at a rest area or a truck stop, and I cook breakfast. Um, that's just our normal way of traveling. Uh, here we are, racing the train into Flagstaff. We're not actually going in and through the city of Flagstaff. Been there, done that. Uh, as the sign above says, we're headed towards Los Angeles. Not going that far on this trip. Been there, done that too. Don't need any traffic anymore these days. Speed limit here is 75 miles an hour, and I'm going about 72, and I think uh, a lot of people are going 80. And I'm talking about trucks, and the cars are going faster. Used to be those big trucks would blow me around on the road with my old Southwind motorhome, but um, now, if they're empty, I actually think I blow them a little sometimes. We're now by Williams, Arizona, and we've turned off of I-40 and are headed north towards the Grand Canyon. It's about 50 miles to the Grand Canyon and about 30 miles to where we're going to stop for the evening at Nomad Ranch, where a bunch of our friends are. We're not going to go on up to the Grand Canyon this trip, but uh, we did it two years ago, and I have a video. I'll put a link up there. Great pictures of the Grand Canyon. We're approaching Grand Canyon Junction in the little town of Valley, Arizona. We're going to pull in up here, and I'm going to go into the convenience store at the gas station and make sure that Lynn has enough milk until we come back past here again. Got to have that milk for her lattes. I always seem to get your attention when I mention you when I'm doing a voiceover. Is it okay if I talk about your lattes? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> no parking, no parking, no parking. 
Yeah, I think I got them all covered up so nobody will see the no parking signs. Yeah, we're good. And now we have four miles of this, which took me about 40 minutes. It's rough. It's nasty. It's dirty. On the way back out of here, I told Lynn, who was mad at me by the time we got there because of how rough the road was, I said, Lynn, if I ever suggest coming here again, don't just get mad. Hit me. And I'll remember it, too. Like my grandma used to say, this one's six months in the hospital, and this one's sure death. <laughs> There's Scott and Terry starting to dig up the ground for an onion patch. Doing a little gardening. We're just going to go around the corner here and park at the first spot where we're not actually blocking all the road. Only half the road. Rady, Jeff, the old panda bus. Perfect. Parked for the night. Well, made one stop at Nomad Ranch. See, uh, friends there. Uh, been two years since I've been here. They have made a ton of progress. Aja and Jeff, Terry and Scott, the whole gang been really busy. Pallet fences. I think this is Donnie's bar. Jason and Jennifer there. Our host is Aja of Pandemonium on YouTube. Old Panda up on blocks. Aja has a newer rig now, but I think this one is a guest house for invited friends. They're all getting ready to head south. It's cold this morning. Dave. Dave's RV life on YouTube. Brady traveling Brady. with the graham cracker on YouTube. Jeff. <laughs> so, Paul the bread trucker. Howdy. And Ellie. Hello. Hey, How's good to see you guys. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And Brady. Hi. Nice to see you here. It's cold. <laughs> Came here to Julian's to warm up. Yeah. Terry plowing. Terry's channel is Destination Open Road. They go all over the country in the last year in their new fifth wheel. Girls and their toys. What are you going to plant? Onions, garlics, and shallots. A winter crop. Yeah. You plant them now and they'll be good when you come back when it's warmer. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite, because we I don't think we'll be back until uh, May. Yeah. So I think it'll be, won't they just be kind of coming up? I think. I well, don't know. You're, you've are you got a uh, green thumb. You know. Well, yeah, but in Mexico, we have three seasons a year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Doesn't matter when you plant it. That's right. And, of course, this would be Moo Moo, the real star of Aja's Pandemonium channel. Moo Moo, you want to be on YouTube? Hey, nice to see you, yeah. Planting onions, are we? This is something you haven't seen before. Yeah, pretty cool. 200 horsepower in the tail end of a bug? <laughs> Heck yeah. We wow. got a 2005 Honda K24. 
Oh my gosh. 2.4 liter, four cylinder. This car has an ECU now. Okay, you can say hi. Oh, okay. Okay. She really you beeline straight over here. Yeah. Okay, so three, four, three. I think you should paint 54 on the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of the 53 for Herbie. Okay. It's plus one. Gary and Lynn. I gotta open up my furnace compartment. Making a funny noise last night and it wasn't working exactly right. Well, when I opened it up, it was just fine. It was working great the next morning. Uh, might have just been my imagination in my sleep that it wasn't working right. But anyway, that was last week and it's been working fine ever since. Well, next we're going to Chloride, Arizona. There are two places in the world I've been where I was absolutely, definitely sure I was no longer in Kansas. One of them was Morocco on the north coast of Africa, and the other one is Chloride, Arizona. See you soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.